So today video is going to be a soft lamb by Moa, of course, because you're watching me. So just watch the whole video and thanks for watching. So it's another makeup tutorial video. And I decided to do something different. Like most of my videos, my makeup videos that is, I always like just do the makeup and I don't ever talk to you guys. So I was like, I'm just gonna try and communicate with you guys. And let me try to fix my So I'm just going to try to talk and communicate with you guys while I do my makeup. And, um, yeah, since I don't really talk, so... Okay, so I've already basically started with my eyebrows, as you can see. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go ahead and get into the, um, the eyeshadow. Y'all, they go to airplane. But anywho, so, um, I was just thinking, like, I've been thinking, like... <clears throat> 2020 here I don't ever do well I don't really believe in New Year resolutions like I don't just I don't really be like oh this year I'm gonna do this this year I'm gonna do that or this year I want to do this this year I just kind of like whatever I did good in the previous year that's what I I'm gonna do again I do. if I did something good and it worked out I'm gonna do that plus more if I did something that didn't work out I'm not gonna do that no more I don't really just I set goals but as far as for the new years go I don't really set goals for like new years I'm just like I don't really believe in that type of stuff so I'm just gonna do me like I know everybody got the same little stuff like they be like okay we're gonna I'm gonna lose weight or I'm gonna eat more healthy and stuff like that. Now I ain't gonna lie, I did say that I was gonna eat more healthy because I was eating, I was eating pretty good. And then I don't know what happened. It's like one one day, um, I just woke up and started eating bad. Like I just started eating a lot of stuff. Like I tried not to eat a, a lot of pork. Um, I tried not to eat a lot of beef or whatever. So I was like, I'm just gonna make sure I stay on track with that because at first. When I told you I got off track, I just didn't care. I just was like, I'm just gonna eat whatever. And if I'm hungry, I'm hungry, it is what it is. I did say that I wanted to start off like doing stuff that I wouldn't normally, like I'd be scared to do. Like getting out there, branching out there, and just um, <coughs> taking risks. You know, you, you when you spend so much time playing it safe, or whatever and not really like taking risks and stuff you don't know how things will turn out but as long as you put your best foot forward like for instance if you want to um uh start your own business or if you want to per se like go to school start school or if you want to go after that new job then i feel like do that like don't be scared of rejection stuff that gonna go right all the time you just gotta Put your mind to it, and you just gotta basically like say the hell with it and just hope for the best, I guess. <laughs> Meanwhile, put your all into it. Don't half step it. Like, if you're gonna do something, you need to do it. Like, don't half step it or whatever. Just um, put your best foot forward, and I guarantee you, whatever you whatever you putting out, you will get back. So, if you want that new job, that new car, uh, you want to start working out. You want to start that business or whatever it is, you know, just put your best foot forward and don't be scared to do it this year. Mm -hmm. 2020, don't be scared to do it. I've been sitting back and just thinking about my life and analyzing my life. Like, what do I want out of life? Like, do I want to, like, just still be at home and be a mom? Or do I want to, like, be a mom and, like, do other things? Like, what do I want to do? So, I spend most of my time... 2020 ain't really the whole time I've been out of work cuz I've been out of work for maybe like two and a half years maybe probably a little a little longer than it and that's only because you know my husband he take care of the household and my kids they're small I don't really trust putting them in daycare and stuff like that so yeah I just basically like so this is gonna be kind of like a soft glam look, by the way. Let me go and say this. It's gonna be more like a soft glam look. I'm not gonna do the extra stuff that I normally do. I'm just like, you know, so what do I wanna do with myself? Like, do I wanna, like, what do I wanna do? So I've been taking that time to think on that. And I'm just like, you know what, YOLO, like, don't be scared to branch out. 
and like do what makes you happy as far as makeup pushing my youtube channel like yeah i was scared as hell to do my youtube channel and i feel like for me to be doing it well it's been a year now for me to only be doing it for a year i think i've done pretty damn good um i get a lot of people like they do watch my channel you know tell me they like my channel i got people responding to me on social media and i feel like if i wouldn't have never like took that chance I don't look out. I feel like if I would never took that chance or whatever and um took that leap, I probably would never be where I'm at in my channel per se. Um I feel like I probably will be still in a box. Cause right now I feel like I'm outside the box. Like I'm talking to you guys, I'm putting myself out there, like I don't care what nobody say or like people like oh my god she thinks she trying to do youtube girl please like it probably be people that know me that know that i do youtube probably be thinking like what she thinks so she but that's part of the like not caring you gotta like really have that not caring and just that tough skin because people gonna say stuff people gonna think stuff and when i first started this i was just kind of like I don't know how this gonna go. Like, is this gonna be, is this gonna go right? Like, am I gonna get a response from people? Are people gonna like my channel? I don't know, but just make sure whatever you decide to do for 2020, like, baby, make sure that you know you um you do it to the best of your ability. Don't have still just go out of the way. Like I said, I didn't think that my YouTube channel was gonna do as good as it's doing. Like, I'm not doing like as much as everybody else, but I think I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing better than what I thought, cause I swear I thought people was not gonna like my was not gonna like my channel at all. But people are. They are liking it. I'm getting a response. I'm gonna add a little twinkle twinkle to my eyeshadow only because I'm over the top and it's a little boring right now. So yeah, I'm gonna add that. And by the way, these colors do not have names on them, so yeah, that's why I call it twinkle twinkle. So I'm gonna add a little mm to it. But yeah, but like I was saying, and, uh, and like as far as like my makeup goes, like I've always been like the type of girl that wanna look nice, wanna look pretty. Now I've been a tomboy for a long time. I didn't really start getting into pretty girl stuff to like the older I get. So maybe like my, when I turned 20, 425 I started like doing pretty girl stuff started trying to find you know find my way or whatever because I just got tired of looking like a hood cheese I mean that's all I thought about was Jordans I didn't own a lot but I you know thought about tennis shoes jeans and a nice shirt it was like okay cool but the older I get the more I come into myself and I be more wanted to do like dresses and hello look girls sorry y'all trying to concentrate Ooh, that's gonna be cute, y'all. It's so quiet in my house. Okay, so the kids are gone. The only people that are up is C and his nephew. Cause he stays the night over, over on the weekends. But um, but it's real quiet. Now I'm gonna add uh the little pink I have, I'm gonna add it under my eyes. So I'm done with my eyes for right now so I'm going to go ahead and start with my um, foundation like I said this is more of a soft lamp so I'm not going all out tonight like doing all the extras I'm just gonna do a little bit so I'm gonna add my foundation and nothing I gotta give me some uh, some found, some more foundation because I get tired of using the same foundation every time it's just I don't know I buy other stuff but I don't buy foundation so yeah I don't be studying my bitty beads either Cause I've been trying to make sure I don't lose my edges with these braids. Y'all ladies know when you get um when you get braids, you gotta be careful now. Yeah, y'all know what I forgot to put on my on my face. My color corrector. It's all good though. I'm just gonna probably try to go a little heavier around my nails, around my nails. So let me just break down the stuff that's been going on in my life. So like I told you, um, I'm a stay at home mom. And I look after my kids. My oldest boy, he's five. Well, my oldest child, he's five. So, of course, he's in school. 
and I'm just basically just like finding my way like finding me I'm 27 years old like I used to be like oh by the time I turn 25 I want to have this I want to have that but to be honest like when you turn like even at 25 you still trying to figure stuff out I thought when you turn 25 that you gonna have your whole life figured out you're gonna be making six figures you're gonna be doing this you're gonna be doing that and that's not the case for everybody and so for B, I'm like, I ain't got that long before I be 30, so I need to be trying to figure out something now, because I don't want to be 30 still, like, trying to figure me out, try to, try to understand me. So that's where I'm at in life, and I'm learning, like, confidence. Confidence is key. If people, um, if people have, if people see you with confidence with yourself, and see how um, sure yourself you are. They had confidence with you. Y'all, this is coming out a little dark. And this is the same foundation that I always wear. So maybe when I, when it dry up, it'll look a little lighter. Cause this is not what it only looks like. You know, I thought when you get 25, you would have everything figured out. And that is not the case, boo boo. If you, if you're, tw if you're 21 and you look now when I turn 25, I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, woo Like, if you haven't already figured things out at an early age, you was not gonna have all your stuff together at, 20, at 25. So, if you in the same position I'm at, like you trying to figure it out, don't beat yourself up, cause everybody learns at a different pace, and you're not going to like, you're not going to um have everything figured out, so. Don't beat yourself up. So y'all, I'm just gonna use this little beauty blender to like kind of push some of this in because it looks a little dark on me. Like, did my skin color change a little bit? I know it's fall, so I ain't really had no sun. But uh, we don't mean we don't want to look crazy. Right? You know what I'm saying? And I leave a little bit on my lips sometimes because when I put my lipstick on all this stuff like that, it's like a good foundation literally for your lips. It's like it helps the color out a little bit or something. So that's where I'm at with it. And I'm just like, I'm ready to reach a new height. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm ready to like be doing the damn thing. In my mind, I'm like a million dollar person. Like to be honest, in my mind, I'm a million dollar person. I'm just like, I gotta get past that level to unlock the knowledge I need to make a million dollars. Cause once you learn how to make your first million dollars, you gon' always like be able to make money. Once you get past that, learning how to do stuff and figure stuff out, it ain't gonna be nothing for you to make money. Once you get, once you figure out the formula, the key ingredient to making a million dollars. Like I spend some of my time, like I spend some of my time, like um, listening to motivational speakers, like um, people that. I think I'm gonna use this concealer. I ain't gonna use my uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills only because my foundation seems to be a little darker this time. And I don't wanna put that, like, this is really light, so I don't wanna put that on my face. Is that a difference? Yeah, it's, some, it's somewhat of a difference. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go get some more foundation because I honestly think that maybe my face has gotten a little lighter because this looks like it's a little dark on me. But, um,. But yeah, once you make your first million dollars, it ain't gonna be hard for you to make your second million dollars or have your other million dollars you want because once you get that formula in your head, that's it. Like, you locked in. And especially once you make them type of partnerships and you meet people along the way and you you know, you know show how genuine you are, people wouldn't mind helping you and it'd just be a lot easier. So, right now I'm in that process where I'm trying to come up with a way to make my first million dollars or my first hundred thousand or you know whatever whatever comes first okay so I am going to wet my beauty blender with my setting spray so I can blend in my concealer and I'm just gonna get in the hair back there but um, what was I, y'all? Oh, making your first million dollars. So yeah, so, and then my thing is, another thing that I be thinking like, you have to do a lot of reading too. You can't just be like, I wanna do this, I wanna do that, and then you don't read up on stuff. Like you don't try to learn the lingo, whatever whatever you trying to get into, whether it's 
real estate, banking, any kind of business, or uh, just anything, you have to learn the lingo so you won't be lost because you never know who you're gonna meet along the way. And if they talking to you and you don't understand shit they saying, it's gonna be like, girl, like, what are you doing? You made it all the way here and you can't even communicate with the important people you need to communicate with. Now you got some people that don't mind helping you along the way that'll give you the tools like, you know, this means that or when people ask you this, you know that'll give you, like a mentor, that'll give you the rundown. But I feel like it'll be better if you already come like pre-educated because it won't be so hard to have to start from scratch with you and tell you and let you know certain things. So I'm thinking like, you know, what I'm, what I'm thinking about doing, I feel like, Maybe I should um, educate myself, like I'm telling you guys. Amazon sell books, if you got Barnes and Nobles around you or anything like that that sell books where you can read upon what you want, that's like the best bet. It's to read upon stuff, get information, soak it all in. Shoot, you never know, what you read might help you make your million dollars. You never know, you might can read somebody's success story and apply and apply their techniques or their tactics to what you're doing and you never know, it might come out for the best for you. So just always remember, whatever you're trying to do, just educate yourself. Pat this concealer down, 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 down. All over my forehead. Okay, so it's dried up, so I guess it's not that bad. So next I am going to add my setting powder by Absolute. I gotta get some more of this because I'm tired of using this too, child. I gotta get a lot of everything, okay? Y'all just bear with me. And I'm gonna use this little brush just because I like the way it sweeps. It sweeps across my face. And I'm gonna put it where my concealer was. Just so you can make sure that you secure the moisture and that your face don't be too oily and you don't have any crack spots. And your makeup and I'm putting on just a light little bit because I'm really not gonna go nowhere I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and be 100 with y'all when I get through with this video guess what I'm gonna do I'm gonna sit for a little while take a few pictures because you know I gotta get my thumbnail take a few pictures post them on IG on you know um, Twitter and Facebook and then take my makeup off yep that's what I'm gonna do so and I be letting the YouTubers fly y'all. Y'all fly y'all. If y'all don't know, they, they be getting all pretty, be doing all the stuff I'm doing there. Look, got the, the cute little clothes on and stuff. And then, baby, when they get through filming this video, guess what they do? They take all that stuff off. The wig, the makeup, the eyelashes, all that. They take all that stuff off. Just like I'm gonna do. Yeah, my nose is like... Yeah. Now, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Let me just stop and say this. Okay, now I'm feeling playful. <laughs> like, I am so proud of myself, y'all. I'm so proud of myself. Like, I, I, I've overcome so much, like, dealing with depression. After my mom passed away, I dealt with that for, like, two years. This is the third year that my mom passed away. She passed away on Christmas. And this is the third year, and I just feel like, I just feel so light. Like, all that darkness I went through, losing my mom taking care of my siblings and then trying to reevaluate their their life, my life and my kids life. Like I'm proud of myself like if y'all going through stuff don't let it drag you down. Like I'm not going to say it's going to be easy. I'm not saying wake up every day like cuz it was days that I wanted to fight. It was days that I was cussing people out. It was days that I was irritated. I didn't want nobody talking to me. I didn't want to talk to me. I didn't want nobody calling me. I didn't want to texting me. It was days where I would call uh, my in-laws and cry. I'm talking about just ball my eyes out because I just felt like I was like, my mama gone, like, that's the it. that's it. Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, it be days where I still be like, I want to call my mama, but I can't call her because she's not here. So, I'm really proud of myself for the same fact that I was able to get past that and like overcome those trials and tribulations like i promise you the most scariest thing in the world is to go through depression because you got days where you just be like you be want to give up you be like why am i even here like but when you got kids like me or when you got stuff going you can't think like that you can't think the worst you got to think positive and that was maybe that was a good thing with going through what i was going through is because I had little people like 
relying on me and my siblings. So I'm gonna use this. Um, what is this? Yeah, I use the stuff a thousand times. Still don't know what this stuff is called. Now I'm gonna put on my next lashes. I already cut these as well. I actually cut them before this video because I didn't cut them yesterday when I dropped my last video because I was only doing one in one. So, yeah, I had to cut these, pre cut these before I started this video. One thing I do like a lot about these lashes though, like the way um, the pattern is, like the design the lashes are in, it's, that's really, that's pretty cool. Like they got them like crisscrossing and stuff. I do like that, it's different. Yeah, there we go. Good thing this glue gonna come off cause baby. Every time I put my lashes on, I make a, a teeny slight bit mid. So then I got these on. I'm going to put on my eyeliner. Liquid eyeliner. Who is this by? LA Colors. Liquid eyeliner. I like liquid eyeliner. Why? I don't know, but I like it. So I don't ask me. Y'all, I keep hearing that song by, uh, Young Thug or whatever that dude's name is. I keep hearing it in my head. I gotta concentrate on my eyeliner as well, you guys. Okay, yeah. Now that I got that out the way, I need to give me like a white eyeliner pencil, or a lighter color pencil, so I can light my eyes up a little bit. Okay, so I made a mess, a little spot right here. So I'm gonna get my beauty blender, and I'm going to. I might have to put a little bit of makeup on there. Oh, oh, I'm going away. Makeup for my eyes because I didn't put on so much makeup that my color is actually going away. And we don't want that. Okay, I got it. So, and I almost used this up, so I'm gonna put it right here. Time for the lips. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this copper lip pencil because I want my eyes to pop. I'm gonna line my lips up. Check it out like this. And, uh, wait, I'm going to use my Morphe. What is this? Alchemy. This is the color it is. So it's like a goldish color. Y'all see that? And I'm going to use that on my lips. I love the way this feels. Then I'm going to set my face with my setting spray by um, SU Setting Spray. And then 
And then we're going to wait. Wait. Okay, you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you love my look. Using the lashes that I got again from um, the Real King Rich, and as you can see, I got my simple soft glam look going. So, if you're new to my channel, be sure you click that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up on this video. I hope you guys enjoy my chat. Next time, I will have more energy, but tonight was more like back, so the wild side didn't come out. <laughs> be sure to comment below, and I'll see you guys next time.